Hi all, welcome back to a new video on the topic Algo Trading. Today I am going to show you how to fetch live NSE data using Java. This can scan LTP, volume, high, low etc. This also filters stocks based on the gain or loss. Let's see how to create this. This is the user interface to list stocks from database. I have given the video link to create this in description. Please watch it and create this before continuing this video. Ok, let's get into this video. Right click the table, click properties. Click table model. Remove serial number. Add columns to show title of data we gonna fetch. Change the title of every column. After adding title click OK. Next go to table properties. Click code section. Change the modifier to public static. Go to source code. Change the modifier of kite object to public static. So that we can access the value from any class. Go to refresh table method and remove the row count in table. We don't display number here. Resize the table to add controls at the right. Place a button and rename it as start. Create a new class to handle the fetching process. Implement runnable interface, so that we can add this code in a thread. This helps to continuous fetching of data without problems. Create constructor. Initialize default table model. Call the table model. Initialize array of instrument. Size of array is number of table rows. Add a for loop to loop through all rows in table. Add each row of table to the instrument array we created. Create a map object to store the data we fetch. Call get quote to fetch the data of all stocks in the array. Import the models.quote library.
surround the statement with try and catch. Add for loop, to go through every instrument and update fields. Create a variable for volume. Get the volume value from the map, using key of instrument. Next get the LTP of instrument. Next today hot. Today low. Next yesterday close. Finally change value. We need to calculate the change percentage from close and LTP. Next we need to assign the values to the table rows. Model.setValue at function does this. Do this for all columns. Go to design. Double tap start button. Add the code to start the thread. Let's run this code. Yes it's working. Let's add a loop to get continuous data. Let's run the code. Yes it's working. This will scan stocks continuously. Next add control to stop the thread. Go to source code. Declare a public boolean variable stop scan. Initialize it as false. Double click the stop button. 
change the value of stop scan to true. Next go to the libdata class. Add a condition that is Break the loop if stop scan is true Also change the stop scan value to false Let's run the code Click stop button. Yes the thread is stopped. Click the start again. Yes it is started. Next we will see how to sort the data. Go to table properties. Select auto create row sorter. Change the data type of fields to double. Except the name column. Let's run the code. Click the column to sort the values. Yes it's working. Next we need to restart the thread whenever we change the index. Double click the combo box and paste the code to stop the thread. Copy the start thread code and paste next to the refresh table. Let's run the code. Yes it's working. Next. Let's give color to the each row. Create a new class. Go to the link given in description. Copy the code. Paste it into the new class we created. Declare a variable to get the clicked row index. Fifth column is the one we gonna color. So change the column number to 5. Go to the link and copy the code to call the renderer. Paste the code into the libdata class. Change the table name to our table name. Change the column number to 5. Right click the table, click customize code. Select scroll pane and change the modifier to public static. Go to render class and change the row to model row in condition. Let's run the code. Click change column. Yes now the column is sorted based on change percentage. Next we gonna change the color of one more column. Create a new table column and change the column value to zero. Rename the variable. Let's run the code. Yes it's working. Well, 
I hope you like this video. If you have any queries please let me know in comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.